Greetings, programs! Welcome to the Pride of the Brotherhood of Steel, the Prudwen. And today, I'm going to murder everybody, or at least try and murder nearly everybody, because I know for a fact there's a couple of people I can't murder. And you might be wondering, why? Well, if you saw my other video, you'll know that the build I've been following is based on an article from late last year, a website called vg247.com, and it's entitled the build that broke Skyrim, and it's basically a super sneaky um, crit damage build. Like, you are totally reliant on stealth, you're totally reliant on the extra bonus you get from stealth damage, and of course you can boost that up through various skills. So I've got Gunslinger, which is uh, up to rank 4 there, plus 80% uh, pistol damage, and I've got the Deliverer pistol, which you get from the very early railroad quest line. In fact, I think it's the very first railroad uh, quest you get the deliverer pistol and that's important because that gives you um, an increased uh, or decreased rather VATS action point cost. There's actually other pistols or weapons you can find out uh, in the world with that particular ability as well but the deliverer is nice because it's a very powerful pistol so I'm using that. I've also got sneak so that's uh, again rank 4 50% harder to detect while sneaking. Mr. Sandman so that's an extra 30% silence uh, weapon damage while sneaking. Action Girl, so that's plus 50% to my action point regen. So not only am I using less of them, but they regen faster. And then I've got Ninja down here with three and a half times the sneak attack damage. Except it's now more like almost five times because I've got Mr. Sandman at rank two. And I also got a bit of a boost from being best buddies with Deacon. It's, uh, it's one of the, the features of this game that if you uh, get on really good terms with a companion, they give you a perk if you once you get to the maximum rank, and that's Deacon's. He gives you extra sneak attack damage, so it's almost five times sneak attack damage at the moment, and it can get higher still. Now, I don't have anything in, uh, for instance, uh, where is it, Rifleman, wherever it is, somewhere, there we go. And that counts for, obviously, rifles, anything that's single shot that's not a, a pistol, basically, so rifles, the assault rifle, uh, and shotguns! For some reason shotguns count as rifles in this game as far as the perks are concerned. But So um, yeah, we'll be going with a pistol mostly, even though it's not the most long range or the most accurate weapon. I've also got a couple of other minor things like lockpick, armourer, gun nut, um, scrapper, but they're not really that important. Now there's one other thing I'm going to know, and that is uh, some of the legendary uh, items I've got. I actually, I mean this build is so OP, I just cracked it all the way up to uh, very hard, which is the last but one difficulty. After that it's the survival difficulty. So I'm getting all kinds of legendary drops, and it's still kind of overpowered as long as you can be sneaky. So. I've got um, this, which is effectively a, 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 a stealth boy. When you're crouching, you kind of turn invisible, although I think you need a particular skill to take full advantage of that. Uh, if You can still get detected even though you look invisible, obviously. Um, I've got a chess piece which gives even more action point uh, refresh speed. I've got uh, a leg that gives plus one on agility and perception, which is very useful because uh, agility in particular governs your stealth skill and perception um, is uh, that uh, it's to do with spotting stuff further away in vats and also your accuracy in vats so better accuracy in vats is always nice uh, and another one again plus one agility and perception so I've got plus two just from my armor pieces alone I've got military fatigues which give me plus two agility and uh, an arm that gives me plus one charisma and intelligence but I'll probably swap that out at some point. It's nice to have. So my base stats at the moment are plus 14 perception and plus 14 agility. So I am super sneaky and super stealthy. So I wanted to put this to the test because I'm going to actually put a link in the description of a stream highlight where I was directed to a certain place where there was a death claw residing. It's kind of spoilery if you haven't been there. It's the Salem um, something or other. I, I forget which. I've kind of maybe given it away there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, one of the viewers went, "Yeah, oh, you have to go there. You have to go there." And there's a uh, there's a death claw, and I killed the death claw just with the pistol. And it's a bit ridiculous. So anyway, what we're what I'm going to do is really put this to the to the test. I'm going to see if I can clear out the Pridwood entirely with this build. Now, I've done a kind of a dry run, so I know that they don't turn hostile automatically unless you kill a named character. So, people like this, like the, the just the nameless, the scribes and whatever, 
That doesn't matter. I can kill them as long as I'm stealthed, it's fine. The Brotherhood don't turn hostile. However, if I kill, say, Elder Maxon or one of the Proctors or... Uh, um, I can't remember, I think there's one or two other named characters, like uh, Dance, for instance, if you kill him. So uh, I have to avoid them until the end, and this is going to be interesting because I've done a dry run and I kind of figured that out, and I've figured out some good positions inside. But of course the layout of the Pridwin is such that you have to go through, uh, when you go through that door there, there's like a little kind of lobby area, and then you go up into the main kind of decks area. But in that little lobby area there's, a, there's one uh, paladin in armour, with, I think it's a laser, uh, laser minigun, and I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to deal with that area yet, because there's some crew downstairs, there's some, there's one or two name, nameless characters circulating around, and then there's Elder Maxon, so I'm going to have to try and leave them till last, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this exactly, but we're going to, we're going to try and see how far I can get, so we're going to, um, I could do this, in vats, and you can see there the sneak damage is ridiculous, but I can just try. There we go, I'm getting the sneak attack damage. I'm just using vats to. And I'm still hidden. This is a, a Brotherhood Knight, uh, or Paladin, or whatever, in full power armor, and I just, just straight up murdered him. And this guy down here, because I've got a silencer, didn't even notice. Or oh, this gal, I should say. So there you go. So yeah, this is completely mean. And if there was a karma system in this game, look, I just completely smashed his, uh, you know what, we're going to take his gatling legs. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, if there was a karma system in this game, I would just totally be uh, just on the wrong side of it right now. But um, anyway, so this area here, by the way, this, this is going to be the tricky part. I'll, I'll explain why. Hopefully it'll load in fairly quickly. Right, so this is this is the tricky guy, because what I discovered on my dry run was coming out here. I killed everyone up there, but of course that involved the name characters, so at that point I was hostile to the Brotherhood. You come down here, and you kind of spawn effectively into this area. And this guy's right here with the Gatling, and he just murders you before you can even move, because there's a slight delay before you can move, but of course you can still be attacked. So... Yeah, we're going to have to take him out of the equation somehow. And this all involves... I, I don't know, we've got to wait for various people to do various things. It's almost like, I don't know, Dishonored or something like that, where you've, you've got to wait for people to, to be in different places before you knock them out of action. So we've got three down here, including uh, Captain Kell. So he's a named character. He's not someone I can just murderize right away. But uh, it, it just, we're utterly having to rely on this, this sneak factor. So what I can do, and right now I'm, I'm actually uh, hidden, even though I'm practically here, I'm going to try and do this in a single go through, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But we'll see how far we can get, basically. I know I can basically clear out up there, but this is the tricky part. So, what I could do... Where's the... the, the there's one guy that kind of circulates around here somewhere, so we can take him out. No, that's... that's uh, ammo would be nice. Ammo would be very, very nice. I actually wonder if I... They both have their back turned to him. That's just, that's just some dude, right? I think so. Right, so that's a sneak attack. They don't know it was me. They think he's, he just randomly dropped dead from from a bullet to the head. Because that happens sometimes, right? You just randomly fall over. Because you some, suddenly have a spontaneous bullet head wound. Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not fussed at all. They're just not fussed at all. Right, so... Oh, there's a door there. You know, I never realised there's a door there. There's a four-deck door. Okay, there we go. So I can now safely take out this guy. Who's just kind of exploded in a gooey mess, but that's kind of what happens sometimes. I don't actually have the bloody mess thing. Um, although I do have Black Widow, which gives me plus damage against male characters, but also plus persuasion chance. But there's also the bloody mess perk, which gives you um, uh, plus damage and the chance of... Um, things exploding more messily basically right is this guy oh it's a little bit hard when you've got when you're uh, kind of cloaked like this with the the armor effect because uh, right, there we go so we're gonna leave Kells we're gonna leave Kells for now 
the two people with him are fine. So my my plan is just to oh uh, more stuff. Uh, EM cartridges. I've actually got anything that could use them at the moment. I think I might have picked up a gorse. Uh, uh, a gorse rifle actually. I've not had a chance to use it. I was so excited when I saw that you could have a silenced gorse rifle. I am so going to do that once I have uh, enough skill. Anyway, these guys are tricky though. These guys are tricky. But if I can kill these guys, that means that it's just maximum kills left in this area, at which point it becomes a lot easier to come and deal with them. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll go into the main area. So question is who do I take out first now I am hidden right now so this is a bit risky Ooh. his head explodes that guy goes forwards and goes ha huh, that guy's head just randomly exploded oh well that's probably not an issue Honor and glory. there we go right okay he's down so he was the biggest threat and you can see how ridiculously OP this build is. So I've got uh, five mil rounds. I've got, I've already got the laser mini gun. I don't think we need that. So we're gonna go up, okay. They're still not hostile to me. This is just, I don't know. It's the, the sneak system in this game is OP. So this is a very silly idea I had. This, this is actually, I was thinking about it. This is really not like any other video I've done Attention, this this kind of, um, I don't know, challenge video, really? I mean, you see people do this sometimes, and it, it's it's a staple of some channels, and they just kind of, they'll do, in fact, they'll do entire runs with challenge rules, and I'm not really doing anything like that, I'm just doing a specific thing, because, you know, this is a ship full of, of uh, brotherhood, you know, guys with power armor and miniguns and rocket launchers and whatever. Now there's a guy that patrols down here, so he's really easy to take out. There's brotherhood, then there's everything else. And then after that point, well, it gets a little bit harder, but this guy, we could just go pow pow, so that's one down. Now the disadvantage of, um, we might want to deliberately turn people hostile because they will then try and come for where they think you are. And there can be an advantage in that, because there are several points where you can kind of funnel everybody in. And this is actually one of the best ones I discovered. You can come up here, where these toys are, and you can just kind of, I don't know why this is here, by the way, but anyway. There are, I mean, I said, did I say at the start, there's a couple of people I can't kill. There are a couple of, like, um, Initiates, I don't know what you call them, but kids basically and of course like Skyrim this game will by default not let you kill kids But right, here's a, a, a guy on the upper deck He's down. I know where all the named characters were as are as well. So we've got dance and what's her face? Um, the scribe down in there. There's the two proctors in their cabins. Well, there's one in the there's the technical, I can't even remember his name, Quinlan. There's a technical director guy, and then there's the doc, uh, Cade, in like the med bay. There's, um, what's her face, the uh, the mechanic lady, she's down at the airport at the moment, actually. I mean, I could, you know, for a bonus challenge, clear out the airport as well, but that probably would be easier, because this is a, an enclosed space. That's the challenge here. Um, but there's also the scientist lady, uh, which uh, she's down in this area. Yeah, so she's another named one that I can't just kill right away. So we are very firmly hidden right now. Right, oh, there's a dude. Okay, that's someone in power armor down. I'm actually, I don't feel too bad doing this because honestly, as the game goes more and more on, I'm, I'm kind of doing both Brotherhood and uh, uh, railroad missions at the moment and I'm pretty sure it, it becomes very apparent very early on that really the, the Brotherhood work. and the, the Railroad kind of are going to be at loggerheads sooner rather than later. So um, I think I'm going to side with the Railroad to be quite honest because I don't like the Brotherhood that much. They just come off as being a, a teeny weeny bit kind of, I don't know, they're very imperialistic in their outlook in some ways. Right, we're not going to... Oh, there's a guy. You can take him out. Ah! 
Oh, somebody's shooting me. I wonder where that's coming from. Oh, well, it's probably nothing. I've shot half of his power armor off. Just doesn't give a toss. No. Who's like, no, I'm just gonna, you know, I don't, don't care that I'm just, you know, losing bits of my armor and the bits of lead are flying towards my face at high velocity. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, the AI in this game is a bit, yeah. But then it is a Bethesda game. They're not particularly known for their great AI. I have actually, I mean, the more I've explored, the more weird glitches I've seen and things like, uh, I was exploring up near the northern border and I found a couple of floating dead bears, which was quite odd. There was also another, uh, same area I think, there was a, a settler that was uh, dead that was kind of stuck in the ground. Like it was literally just their legs sticking up out of the ground. And uh, that was slightly peculiar. They were, in all, all other guards, just a, a, a regular corpse. And um, I've seen, uh, what was it, an assault bot or a sentry bot corpse that, it kept, it was almost like, you know in Portal, you put two portals and you drop the things between them, like the, the companion cubes or whatever. And you, you get that effect where it's just kind of falling through one portal to the other. It was kind of like that. It was very odd, except it was the corpse of an assaultron which was, uh, or a sentry bot, no it was a sentry bot, it was just continuously kind of falling through the ground, appearing then about a meter up in the air and then uh, just falling down through the ground again. It was really strange. Anyway, um, we might... There's a sleeping guy, I actually get instant kills on... Oh, need to be crouched actually. Instant kills on people who are sleeping, so that's fine. I'm just trying to pick off as many as I can from this high vantage point. Now that there is, um, that's the three uh, scribes, or whatever you call them, who hopefully we can get to just sleep through this. Just, just ignore the carnage, children. Just, just ignore the bloody horror. It's, it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, this is the kids here. So, um, I think. We've cleared out this end. Oh, armory key. That's very useful. I knew at least one of them would be carrying an armory key. So actually just any ammo they've got would take is quite useful. Oh, here's some guys who just slept through the whole thing. <laughs> oh, this is just this is just evil. This is just pure evil. But I don't care. Right, fusion cell. I've actually got. If it comes to having to, I mean, at some point, I am going to turn them hostile. But one of the weapons I've got. And this is one of the slightly weird bugs. You have to. There we go. Um, yeah. For some reason, if you're stealthed with this particular bit of armor, it, it occasionally makes everything just kind of see through when you don't want it to be. But this, the the laser rifle prototype that basically you never need to reload. So that actually might be very very useful. And I don't have uh, a lot of the... I don't have any science ranks at the moment. So stuff on that and stuff on any of the uh, the laser weapons I've got is basically just... Uh, it's, it's what I've been able to scavenge off um, stuff I've picked up. But I'm starting to hit the levels where I'm starting to find some very nice weapons indeed. This is actually really useful. A bunch of them... I, it must have been... It must be like night time because a bunch of them have... Uh, just decided to go to bed. Right, so once we've cleared out this deck, apart from the science lady, whose name I forget, uh, we'll then go downstairs and there's a couple more down there. I don't know why I'm picking, it's just a habit to, to pick up ammo I suppose. Oh yeah, there's a couple of these um, uh, Mr. Gutsies as well who are tending the plants. So that's, oh there we go, Senior Scribe Naraya. I don't know, um, is, is there just the one? Maybe there is just the one. I mean, we will kill him. In fact, we can probably kill him now. We should just be able to one-shot uh, one uh, 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 one of them. There we go. We'll count him as one of the crew. See, so he's Rip. Attention all personnel. This is to serve as a reminder. Scribe Naraya's mole rat subjects are not pets. They are crucial military resources. 
Well, okay then. As such, they are not to be fed by any personnel save Scribe Naraya and her team. Well, now he's just interrupting me. Policy will result in severe discipline. Which is just rude. Right, so, um, yeah, what I was going to say is, um, oh yeah, I think Dance is down there. I can't kill Dance yet. Uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> that that kind of reminded me that I thought it would have been really nice touch if even when they turned hostile, or, or when they turned hostile, for the 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 PA to be like, oh no, there's there's an intruder on board. Everybody, you know, everybody panic. Right, there's a bunch of people in here, and this is going to be tricky because dance is here. I might be able to do it from this position, but yeah, it's kind of it just kind of amused me that there would you'd be running around where I was in in, in the the the. The, the test run, just running around murdering everybody, and um, the tannoy would just be putting out these really generic, bland announcements that didn't have anything to do with what was going on on board right at that moment, which I just found a little bit disappointing. Right, so there's two um, nameless engineer mechanic -y people here. There's also what's his face in the uh, the armory. Enclosure, and I've got the key for that now. But I don't know what happens if I use the key to go in there while he's actually uh, in there. If he turns hostile, now there's a dude there. There's always a dude there, but we can kill him and stay hidden. So that's not a problem. Uh, oh, that's some funky hit detection right there. Yeah, this game sometimes it's a bit. I've noticed that in a couple of areas. You'll think you've got a line of sight. It looks like you've got a line of sight, and instead your bullets are going into an invisible wall, essentially. Which is always kind of annoying when a game does that. Right. Um, 38 rounds. Yeah, no, I definitely need 38 rounds. As far as I can tell, the 30... Oh, here we go. He's coming this way. That's useful. The 38 rounds, once you get past the stage of using pipe pistols, which is pretty early on, 38 rounds are basically only any use for bartering. Because, uh, like all the other ammo, it's one credit for one uh, bullet, essentially. So, you can um, use them, because you find them quite commonly, you can use them to just get caps off traders. So, um, that just leaves some unnamed personnel in here, and then we get down to the named personnel, at which point life gets interesting. So, I'm going to see if we can pick people off from the sidelines. Dude down there, you know. That's what I missed. I'm just going to sit here and not react to the fact I've just been shot in the head. I'm sure it's fine. It was just a large bullet shaped fly, probably. There's two. There's oh, three. There's one more, and then that will just leave dance. And this is this is just this this whole build is just ridiculous. Can you can you tell how ridiculous this build is? I thought this might actually be a lot more challenging, but it might be that it does get challenging once I actually start killing named characters. So there's dance. We're gonna start off with um, the armory guy actually. At which point they almost certainly will then just turn hostile to me. But of course I can uh, I can. Do my best to stay stealthy. So, this is the part. There we go. Right. They're now hostile. Dance might start stomping this direction, but we'll um, pick up this little launcher. Ooh. Plenty of fuel, 45 rounds. I don't think we actually need any. Oh, I'll take the 10 more. But there's some nice stuff in here. There's another Gauss rifle. There's. Like Fat Man's, there's an X01 helmet, there's a Fat Man launcher. Uh, I did say that already, didn't I? <laughs> I did it twice because of reasons. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's, he, he's got some nice stuff in here. Um, Tegan, there we go. But, yeah, this is the point. This is the point where now, if they see me, having murdered almost the entire crew, it's only now, if they see me, that they will, in fact, start attacking. So. Yeah, but I have 14 agility, which makes me super stealthy. I mean, I've also got uh, shadowed armor. Some of it's muffled. I mean, it's actually a bit of a, a dog's breakfast in terms of the mix of armor. Um, some of it's like raider leathers and some of it's raider metal. And I've got a, a regular combat chest. So 
There we go. So that's what's a face down. Hello, more rats. Are you having fun? I'm having fun murdering everybody. Yes. So now we've got to take out Dance. Then we'll take out Quaid and Quinlan. And then it just remains to take out uh, Kells and, of course, Maxon. And I actually don't know... Well, we'll see. I suspect I'll come up through the thing and they'll immediately see me. Maybe I should have killed them first. But hey, where's the challenge in that? It is supposed to be a challenge after all. So who are we going to take out next? Um, where's Dance? Dance is down here somewhere. Ooh. Where's Dance? Oh, okay. Yes, there he is. Okay, now we're in caution. Dance is down. Let's back off. The rate of fire on this pistol. I mean, the damage it does, and it's it's actually what damage is it? It's like seventy odd damage. Can't quite properly. Oh, well, there we go. Eighty-one damage times five. I'm warning you. And it I fires very very quickly. Order. Oh, okay. There's at least one dude still left alive upstairs. Maybe I should take care of him. Wait till I'm fully hidden. Hiding is pointless. I've missed at least one clear. person. Brotherhood initiate. Okay, well. Oh, and that's what I mean by the hit detection. Ooh. Although, to be fair, he did kind of move, so. Sometimes when you're aiming at VATS, you think you've got a good shot, and then they just move that little bit, and suddenly you're firing all your bullets into a, a wooden barrier, in that case. Okay, so. Um, but it's useful them having turned hostile because now I know that he was the last guy apart from um, let's See there's Quinlan. I should use bats for this. Why not? In fact, we can just one-shot him Because he's not wearing any armor at all. Sorry Quinlan And there's Cade. He's just like he's just chilling It's just you know microscoping things. Oh Oh, hello He detected me Is he going to come out to the corridor? Not sure. So I'm hidden again. And I'm going to go forward very carefully. Ooh. There we go. So that's the entire main deck cleared out. I think. I'm pretty sure we've murdered everybody on this, this part of the ship. So, now we're going to go and see if we can kill, uh, no wait, we want to go down here, don't we? Kells and, um, what's his face? Or is it up here? No. I'm confused. It's down, isn't it? Yes. It is down. I want to go down here. Right. Okay. <laughs> this might just come down to a straight up, up gunfight. Oh! Right. Okay, we're going to have to kill him first because he's right there. Right, look at this. Look at how many AP points I get. Right, well, crit his head as well. Got that critical saved. So even if he doesn't know I'm here, when I'm in caution, if they, if they kind of know roughly where you are, they might start firing blindly in, in your direction. But I was actually seen so. But yeah, if you try that with that Brotherhood guy there, he just instantly nukes you. So we're going to go back into stealth, although actually Kells might just come up and... Okay, this is a chance for me to try out the... Didn't I pick up a ghost rifle or... I don't know. Oh, let's just stick with the gun then. The completely overpowered pistol. Uh... Hey, Captain Kells! You guys are kind of jerks, just you know. Let's get critical. Which will always go through, you know, critters. That's you useful sometimes. Like you might have a one percent chance shot on somebody. Somebody pointed this out when I was streaming. But if you use a critical, it will hit. Anyway, it's kind of dinging off the. Uh, maybe I'm better off just doing this in not fat. No, I don't know. Also, surely he's got some really. He has a he has a cool coat. I think that's the only thing Maxon really has. Right, we're just gonna have to go bam 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 bam. The Brotherhood. 
And there you go, add Victoria and that, bitches. <laughs> so, it's my Pridwin now. It's mine. It, it absolutely is mine. You know, the one thing... Well, actually, not just the one thing, but one thing that would be really cool. I was going to say, the one thing that, uh, that this game's really missing, but no, it's not just the one thing this game's missing. But it would be so cool if you could just go full-on evil in this game. I mean, you kind of can. Kind of, but not really. I mean, you can tackle the main quest in a, a couple of ways, but... If you could just straight up set yourself up as, you know, the Raider King slash Queen of the Wasteland, that would be so awesome. That would just be amazing. But you don't get that choice, unfortunately. Anyway, anyway, well, I have sinned grievously and there's only one way to end this. There's only one way. There's only one way. Honor demands it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. This was a bit different. This was kind of a challenge video kind of thing. I could go and clear out the airport as well, but honestly, that would be even less challenging. But, uh, yeah, if you have, you can leave any comments below. You can uh, hit the like button or the dislike button if you disapprove of me murdering the entire brotherhood. You can uh, hit... Uh, no, I already said that. You can um, subscribe. There we go. And, as always, stay tuned for more.